is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Job. I bring you guys episode eight of our Pokemon Moon Bug Lock, the first of its kind. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show your love that like button down below, and definitely make sure you guys subscribe. If you're new, big shouts to Rotom Dex above my head for holding it down. And if you missed the last episode, we took on Alima and the first trial, those Raticates, man. They definitely put up a little bit of a fight. We got a little, little hectic around Honey there, but we were able to come out on top. Pick up our first trial, our first Z-move, and we're feeling pretty good about that. And that's going to be our question of the day today, actually. Our topic of the day is what are your thoughts on the Z-Crystals instead of Mega Evolution? X and Y and then Oras were very, very heavily focused around Mega Evolution. But then Sun and Moon comes out. They mix things totally up with the Z crystals and the Z moves. I'm curious what you guys think about them so far. Oh, I can't actually even go up there yet. Uh, I was thinking I was going to go up top there and get some items, but evidently I can't. So let's get the heck out of here. But yeah, there's items up there, man. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the Z moves and the Z crystals? I'm a little hesitant still. I haven't really used it yet. You haven't, obviously, we used it in the demo, but that's about it. So I'm excited to try them out and see how they integrate into the game. Uh, it seems like, like, if you use one every battle, it seems like it's a little overbearing, but I'm curious to see kind of how the Z crystals work and, you know, whether the general consensus people like them or not. I did not expect that thing to pop out at me. What is it? Probably just an Alolan Rattata, I'm assuming. It is. Looks pretty intense. I just heard a very strange noise outside. I don't know what it is. It sounded like a cow. Uh, there are cows that live on my road, which is just weird. But either way, here's an Alolan Rattata. I think I can just run probably from this thing. Yeah, we will. So we're going to continue. I don't know if there's any more trials on the first island. I'm not exactly even sure. Maybe Rotom will tell us. Let's click on Rotom and see what the island looks like. I think we've discovered most of the island so far, right? Oh, no. There's this whole Route 3 and Kalia Bay. So there's two huge spots that we haven't been to. And then there's the whole Melee Melee Sea. So it seems like there's actually quite a bit of stuff that we haven't done on the island. I didn't expect this island to be so big, but uh, they really give you a, kind of a lot of content here right when you first get started. I mean, here we are, episode 8 now. Oh, there's wild Pokemon on the ground, too. I didn't even know that. I wonder if I just didn't count them during the trial just because. But there's a Zubat. Uh, you know, here we are, episode eight now. We've only done one trial. You know, typically you expect a Let's Play to, to kind of run, and I know I'm going slow, but you expect a Let's Play to run about 30, 35 episodes. But this one might end up being a little bit longer, but hey, I'll take it, man. I'm having a blast playing through my first playthrough of this game. I'm gonna skip these Rattatas, though. We're, we're seeming like we're actually almost above leveled at this point in time, so. There's Alima again. What's up, buddy? How you doing, homie? Home skillet. What's up, my man? Greetings, Captain Ilma here. I know who you are. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you'll find captain's barricades here and there. These barricades help mark where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if you're escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. Ah, okay, now I understand. So they have these barricades across the islands to basically say, hey, you know what? You can't go to the other side yet until you prove to us that you're able to be strong enough to do that, which I think makes sense, right? Viola, or voila is actually, I think, how you're supposed to say that. Voila, your world just got a little bigger. I'm the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island Kahuna Hala. Okay, so I guess we're, we're oh, there's Kukui. What's up, bro? He's like, what? What's up, Kukui? He's waving to me. All right, so there's only one trial on this island. That's fine. Hey there, A-Drive. So that, that leads me to believe there's two on every other island and giving you to seven total. Oh, looking at the expression on Illumi's face, Alima's face, I'd say you clear your first trial then. Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z-Power. Oh, I didn't know I couldn't even use it yet. Start off by selecting a compatible Z-Crystal from the Z-Crystal's pocket in your bag. Yeah. Then use the Z-Crystal you choose on a Pokemon. Z crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move as the same type of the crystal, uh, being able to use a Z power in battle. And don't worry, you can use your Z crystals over and over on as many Pokemon as you want. Okay. But it obviously takes up your held item slot, which is a bit of a bummer. Watch and learn, cousin. All right, so I already know what I'm thinking of for the, the normal Z crystal. I think I'm gonna give it to Aster and have Aster use a uh, normal Swift. <laughs> normal Z move Swift. So he's got his rock rough. Uh, Professor Kukui, let's see if he's gonna use his normal Z crystal here. Fight Z power tackle. If it's holding the normalium Z, you can use the Z power, check it out. So he's gonna activate a Z power and fire off a, oh, Z leer. That's interesting. Oh, so that's right. So for every, every normal type attack or any attack, you can actually use a Z crystal, but 
I wonder what Z Leer does. Does it like reduce the defense two stages instead of one? Like what happens if you use like Z Protect? Like what does those things do? I'm curious. But here comes Break and Neck Blitz, which is the normal Z move, which we saw in a trailer. Rockruff just storming ahead. Jeez. This animation, this rock, this Growlithe is about to get absolutely destroyed. Okay. See you later, buddy. That's it for that that Growlithe. That was not uh, not gonna make it too long. That was not gonna make it too long. Phew, Z powers heap all the trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon, yeah? Which totally wears you out. Using Z power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah? Oh, so that's why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. No, it's not like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you could spare us some time to look for her, A-Drive? I can go and have a look around the cave for you in case you want her that way. Thanks, cousin, let's split up and find her, yeah? All right, so I guess we gotta find, uh, what's her name, Lily, because she seems to have wandered off. Rotom's like, where did Lily go? Oh, let's check out these Z-Crystals. Let's give our Normalium uh, Z-Crystal. We're going to give it to Aster. And it's going to get uh, the Z-Crystal instead of the Silk Scarf, I guess. And I kind of want to see it in battle. Let's, I, I kind of want to see a Lediba do Breakneck Blitz. I feel like that's going to be really funny. So let's uh, let's switch Honey out of the front here. Get Aster some action, even though Aster is one of the higher Pokemon. Might as well. And we got a patch of grass here. We can go past this guy now. Did I come up here before? I think I already did. So we can head to Route 3 now. This guy's gonna let me through. We gotta find Lily. Oh, I see the little the little, uh, little uh, check mark in Rotom. Island Challenge Marker, congrats on clearing the trial in Verdant Cavern. Now it's time to take on your Island Challenge while taking full advantage of your Z Power. But remember, if you try to use a Z Power and your move misses, it still counts as having used up your Z Power. So you'll be out of luck after that. Oh, okay, so based on the uh, kind of the chances of the move hitting. I happen to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by a wild bird Pokemon. What adorable little pests they are. Oh boy. Okay, so now I'm scared because there's gonna be bird Pokemon that are gonna come down and attack me. And I'm a little nervous. I guess I'm gonna find out what it is. Let's see what bird Pokemon it is. I'm, I'm a little nervous though. I may just run from it, whatever it ends up being. It's a Volibee. Okay. Alrighty then. A Volibee. I see you, Volibee. I don't really wanna battle you though. Can I just be honest? You're level 12. I'm just gonna run. I think I can get away from you. Yeah, let's just get away. I don't want to battle any birds. Let's keep the birds away. Keep the bird Pokemon away. All right, let's see what this says here. What does this tell me to do? Watch out for flying Pokemon overhead. Okay. okay. Oh, we're gonna battle this guy. All right, let's do it. You want to battle me, dude? What do you got going on? Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these well leads to victory. Well, I happen to be a Pokemon master, so I have, I have a general idea of most abilities. Let's see what this guy's got. Rising Star Ian, and he has what Pokemon? A Psyduck. Psyduckian Z is about to, about to get get popped off here. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna see this breakneck blitz right now and see what's going down. We're gonna see what's going down. My man Aster, or my girl Aster here. Let's bust out the Z power, fire off that breakneck blitz based on uh, Swift, and we're gonna get our Z dance going. Stick our hands out, do a little little dab ski, something like that, you know, a little dance. Get this Z power going. Oh my goodness, Aster is ready to rock and roll. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so funny. Look at this thing. Look angry. Boom! Show him your <laughs> This is hilarious. This Ladybug is just flying at this Psyduck right now. And it didn't even do half damage. Yeah, uh, so, uh, there you go. So it does seem that, uh, the Z moves are not, like, I mean, this is obviously a Ladybug, so not exactly the strongest Pokemon in the world, but it seems like they're not too incredibly overpowered. It looks like it did double what my, what my other move would have done, so... I think they will be very good and competitive, though, um, depending if, you, if you're very strategic about how you use them. But I'm curious how the metagame is going to change with the Z moves. I think it could be really cool. And we're going to take a water gun to the face, though. And I want to just fire off a Mach Punch here. Show them your Mach Punch skills. Boom! I thought I wasn't going to knock him out for a second. I was like, he's not that weak. 175 gets boosted to level 16. Not too shabby. You know, evolve? Maybe you'll evolve. Overdrive to 15. Maybe you'll evolve. I couldn't show off the effects of abilities. No evolution. Okay, well, I figured I'd try. There are many kinds of abilities. Well, I knew that. Let's use a potion here. We'll get uh, we'll get a little bit of health going here for our little Aster. And uh, I will address this now because this tends to be a, a very big topic in Nuzlocke's is when you get over leveled and then the game isn't isn't as challenging anymore. I'm just going with the flow, guys. If my team ends up being a few levels over the wild Pokemon, then so be it. I'm not 
gonna handicap myself in any way. This is my first playthrough, and I did do a poll, um, you know, a bit ago, kind of asking people what their thoughts were in terms of whether they think I should do a Nuzlocke, whether I should just do a regular playthrough, and actually the majority of people said I should just do a regular playthrough, no Nuzlocke, and the reason for that, it seemed like most of the people on Twitter said the reason why they wanted me to do a regular playthrough is so I wouldn't be stressed myself about all the stuff that was going down. I wouldn't have to stress about, you know, if a Pokemon faints or making the game a little bit of a challenge for me, but I'm just gonna roll with whatever the game wants me to do. If, if my Pokemon end up being a little over leveled, if they end up being under leveled, whatever it's gonna be, we're just gonna try to have fun. And if a single Pokemon, I, I could be getting ahead of myself here, but if for some reason none of our Pokemon ever faint again, so be it. But we're just gonna try to have a good time and, and hopefully make it through the entire playthrough. That's our goal. No matter what happens, our goal is to make it through the entirety of the playthrough. I want to beat the game. This is my first time going through it. I don't want to fail. That's a level 12 Spearow. That's a little scary. All right. Well, we found a Spearow. We found a Cutie Fly. We need to find Lily. That's what we need to find. So let's go this way. Although I did miss a little area down here. Let's go. Let's kind of go this way and go around the rock the other way. Maybe, maybe it'll take me to a different spot. Oh, there's a fl oh, I was trying to dodge the flying Pokemon, but that didn't work out too well. This is a Spearow, a Vullaby, Mandibuzz, a Spearow. Okay. Well, I don't want to battle you, Spearow, so I'm just run. I don't want to face you flying Pokemon. The only way to deal with these flying types is going to be to get a Charger Bug, which is, is going to be an electric type. That's going to be like our best bet. Or get a Rock, a Rock Bug Pokemon. I don't know if there is any Rock Bug Pokemon in Alola. A Sharp Beak? That's cool, though. It boosts our flying type moves. We don't have any flying types yet, but I'm gonna skillfully dodge you. I'm trying to trying to find any items that might be hiding up here. Oh, okay, didn't mean to face you, but I guess I'll battle you anyway. So Spiro and Vullaby so far, and there's another Spiro. So that's okay. But we did get a sharp beat. I don't think anyone on my team knows any flying moves, but it's a good item to have because I'm sure we'll have some flying Pokemon eventually, like some bug Pokemon that learn flying moves. Actually. What am I talking about? We could just give it to um, give it to Twilight. It's got uh, it's got Gust. Let's do that. Um, where's the Sharp Beak? Let's give the Sharp Beak. I'm gonna give it to Twilight, which is holding the Quick Claw. That's fine. I don't really need it to hold the Quick Claw. And then I'll be good. Sweet. Anything down here? Any edit? Oh, I just went in a circle. And we're gonna get attacked. This looked like a different Pokemon though. It looks like the shadow changes based on what it is. Yeah, it does. That's cool. Based like the shadow coming down from the wild Pokemon changes based on whether it's Bullaby or Spearow, it looks like, which is very, very cool. I remember the cutscene from Oras where Steven flies in on his, uh, his you presume to be Skarmory, and it's just like a random bird Pokemon. It's not even like a Pokemon, it's just a shadow of a bird. And I always felt that that was kind of lame because they totally could have made it way better by, um, by giving him like a Skarmory or something. Do you have a preference about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Yes, I'm a bug type trainer. Let's hope you're not a flying type trainer. Um, although you might be actually. You're a rising star T Tatiana. And what Pokemon do you have? You have a Petalil. All right. So both Petalil and Cottony showing up here. I didn't actually know that they were in the game. I didn't. I don't know what the full Alolan Dex is. Like I covered it in a video a few weeks back, like way before launch when there was all those leaks and stuff. But I truthfully like don't really remember. It's been a few weeks, so I haven't really looked at it. Um, I had a general idea, but you just look over something once. I'm not going to remember every Pokemon. So I, I didn't realize that this was one of them, but that's cool with me. Little Petalil. Lilligan is really cool. I actually like Lilligant. It's a pretty sweet Pokemon. It's too bad they didn't do a Lolan Volplume or a Lolan Bellossum. Those would have been really cool. But it looks like I'm going to beat Rising Star with their Petalil here. Pretty easy. Honey gave you some experience. The rest of the squad's looking good. And that's it for you, Tatiana. Easy enough. Just keep those flying types away from me, please. All right, so it looks like we're approaching where Lily might be. I think we went around pretty much everything up here. Yeah, I definitely came this way, so I think we're good. Took out all the flying Pokemon from above. Melee Melee Meadow, a paradise for the Oracorio dance. Okay, well, it's telling me that that's the way to go, so I guess I can explore down here later. So let's go check out the Melee Melee Meadow. Ooh, Melee Melee Meadow. What do we got going on? Oh, there's Lily. She's hanging out by the meadow. She seems disturbed though. What's wrong? Nebby, Nebby come back. Oh, Nebby got away again. A drive, Nebby ran off into the meadow. And there's all these trainers everywhere. And so we're gonna have to battle all the trainers to get to Nebby, that's, that's how this is gonna go. Oh, Nebby. Yikes. 
And right after I got into so much trouble on the bridge too, what if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use in battle. All right, we gotta save Nebby then. We just gotta do this. Let's see how our Pokemon are faring. Looks like everyone's doing okay. I think I'm gonna keep Honey in the front. Seems to be doing pretty well. Seems to be doing pretty well. Okay, so looks like there's no map. Mr. Rotom's not giving me a map right now. Oh, I can run down though into these the meadow. Is there an item on that? I guess there's gonna be wild Pokemon in here. A great ball. Okay. Um, well, I guess we can see what's in here. Seems like we're gonna have to go through this whole meadow, so might as well just embrace it and see what we find. Maybe we'll find some bug Pokemon. Like a cutie fly. Cutie fly. Well, I have my own cutie fly, so it's all good. Level 11, so yeah, pretty pretty decent levels. See what else we got. Probably just a bunch of cutie flies. This seems like a cutie fly paradise over here. Like, I can't picture a better place in this island for cutie fly to hang out. There's another one. I think we're just gonna find a ton of these things in here. It's like 99% cutie flies. They're just flying around, getting their honey, feeling good about life. Hey, I'll take it. I actually am really excited about cutie fly on our team though. Um, well, I can go get this Pokeball after this encounter, of course. What is it? Surprise, surprise, another cutie fly. But if I ever want a shiny cutie fly, guys, one day, we can just hunt right right here. We'll just hunt for it right in here. Because it seems like there's uh, no shortage of them. Oh, it's going to struggle bug me. But luckily, we do actually resist that. Uh, being a fairy type, uh, fairy does resist bug, which I am not a big fan of. I actually wish it didn't, personally, but it does. So what are you going to do? But either way, um, the netball, that's cool. We can use those for bug types. We're probably going to stock up on netballs at some point. Are you a trainer? Oh, there's an item down there. My girlfriend always disappears somewhere. Maybe she'll, she's the type you can, can't help wandering off when she spots something interesting. All right, there's something right there. We gotta go in the grass and get it. I don't know what it is, but I think it's just a random hidden item. Maybe there's no item finder in this game. Instead, you have to do this. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oracorio with his pom-poms everywhere. What level is it? Level 10. I hope I can run, because I do not want to battle this thing. It is a flying type. No thank you. Stay away. Please, let's actually switch the front Pokemon of our party. Honey's doing good, but let's get Twilight up in there. Twilight's shiny, looking beautiful. Let's take it, let's take it a little safer. And a yellow nectar. Hmm, I wonder what yellow nectar does. Let's go see if I could find it. A flower nectar obtained at Melee Melee Meadow. It changes the form of a certain species of Pokemon. Oh, maybe you use yellow nectar to change Oracorio's form? I wonder if that's what happens. I don't know what other Pokemon you would change the form of. Unless that's how you evolve Cutie Fly. I don't know, I could try it. I don't I don't know. I don't know how you evolve Cutie Fly. I love that star every time though. I'm not gonna ever get sick of that. I'm not gonna get sick of that. Let me see. Maybe it, it evolves Cutie Fly. I, I'd imagine it changes the form of Oracorio though, if I had to guess. That seems to make a lot of sense. So we just found an Oracorio. Looked like it it was fitting in here. Yellow Nectar, use this item. It won't have any effect. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it has any impact on Cutie Fly. So Cutie Fly probably evolves by level up, but I figured I would check anyway. What is this? Do I just jump down? I guess so. What do we got? More Cutie Flies? Ooh, a Petalil! Cool little forest in here. Lots of grass type Pokemon. You get Petalil, we saw Cottony. They might be version exclusive, I don't know. But pretty sweet if you're doing grass only, you know, like my bug, my bug lock. All right, let's let's get to this this little cosmog here, because this thing, little little nebby, is just causing all sorts of trouble. And there's another one of these Oracorios, which honestly, when I saw this Pokemon, like when it was first revealed, I definitely was not a fan. I mean, I like the idea of it, the fact that it's different based on the um, I don't know what Twilight says. It seems to be worried. Maybe that's because of this flying type. But, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I just wasn't that stoked about it. But let's talk to the little Nebby here. Little Cosmog. Pew! We saved him, no worries. No worries. Hey, oh, I didn't talk to that girl, but... Oh, you! Pew! Thank you, A-Drive. And I should thank Butterfree, too. Here, let me at least do this. So she heals up the squad. I think I'm gonna throw a repel down and go back up there real quick. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems that the Pokemon called Oracorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. There it is. It's not actually evolving, but undergo, uh, undergoing a form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. 
Pew! You need to stop losing this little thing. Seriously, I know there aren't many people to, around to see you, but that's hardly an excuse, and I guess we should be going by now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. Lily, you need to get this little cloud under control. I don't know what you're doing. I want to go back in there, though. Hey, A-Drive, and Lily's with you, too. What are you up to? Just finished my trial, huh? Hey, A-Drive, I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Okay, how? I guess I guess we're battling, how? Um, all right, well, prepare yourselves. I feel better about this battle than our last battle. Uh, we'll see if he has a Pichu. He's got a Pikachu now. Okay. Pika! All right, and I've got Twilight in front, which is probably not my best bet, simply because uh, I am weak to him. But I've got a beautiful move called Sleep Powder. And we're not faster, but he went for... Oh, well, maybe we are faster. He went for Quick Attack, but... I'm gonna hit him with that Sleep Powder, and Sleep Powder is a 75% accurate move, but because we have Compound Eyes, it gets boosted by 30%. Bring it to, I think, like 93% accurate or 99% accurate, I'm not exactly sure. It's not 30% total, it's 30% of uh, 75, so I don't know what that is right now, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna go for Confusion. Hit this thing with a big Confusion. Boom! And that didn't do too much, but he's sleeping, so I'll take, I'll take the advantage I have right now in the fact that he's sleeping. Let's... It's confusion his... Oh, he's gonna wake up and quick attack. All right, Hal, you need to calm down with this. You need to calm down with this Pikachu. Boom! I just don't want him to go for Thunder Shock or something. Am I faster? Oh, he's just gonna keep quick attacking. I don't know what Hal's doing. I don't know if he's a rookie or what he's doing. But we're just gonna hit him with that big, uh... That big confusion there. And that'll be it for the Pikachu. So we know he's got... Uh, he's probably gonna have a Lolan Raichu one day. We know he's got the, uh... The Poplio, too. Level 14 Poplio. All right, well, I could pretty much just go for the nice sleep powder, put you to sleep, and then just hit you with some gusts a few times. Twilight looking pretty powerful right now, and I got that sharp beak boosted gust. Unfortunately, I don't think Butterfree learns any other good flying moves, though. It may learn Air Slash, but I don't think it does. I think it learns Air Cutter instead. I don't even think it learns Air Slash, but that's all right. We'll go for that. He's going to wake up. He's going for Disarming Voice. It's a fairy move. Eh. Oh, that does nothing. Pablo, you're bad. I'm gonna hit you with a Oh, you're not even fairy type though. So I didn't even think about this. Like when we started this Let's Play, I picked Rowlet, hoping that he would have Litten. I don't know why I thought that, but he evidently does not have Litten. All right, so this is another one of those situations. Will Gust be enough to knock him out? I think it will. We're gonna go for Gust. Um, but I guess it, it's okay, even though even though he's not gonna have the strong starter against me, uh, he still will resist because once he evolves into a fairy type, which we know Poplio's final evolution is fairy type, once it evolves into that, it's, it's going to resist my bug type move, so I guess he does have a little bit of an advantage. Not quite the advantage if he had a Litten, though. Oh man, I wanted to shop my Pokemon's best side more. So he's going to give us 280 bucks. Thanks, Hal. Appreciate it, man. A little easy battle there. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, A-Drive? Looks like we're getting pretty strong, but I wonder if I'll ever really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Hey there, A-Drive. Knew I could count on you. Yeah, thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this then? How? You finished your first trial too? I bet you used some Stalin moves. All right, that's, uh, Hollow's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trial, you gotta battle the island Kahuna. Oh boy. Taking on the island Kahuna in a battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some fierce Pokemon battles. I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. Oh boy. So I want to head back in there because there was a few people I didn't talk to. But we have to take on Hala himself before I can leave this island. Um, let me shoot down here. And let me just throw down a rappel really quick so we can run through this. Because like I said, I, I do want to talk to the other two people. And um, and also see if I missed any items. There's the rappels. Let's just use a rappel real quick and see what we got going on. Just run through this forest, this little patch of grass. Um, so I came over here. We got to Nebby down here. Yeah, we got to Nebby up here, rather. But I never, like, went up here to see if there's anything. There's an item right here, which is another yellow nectar. So you get these pretty easily, it looks like, to change our choreo. And the poison barb, that's actually pretty useful. We could definitely use that. Uh, can I slide down? No. We could definitely use that, especially if we catch a poison and bug type. Uh, I, th I know Ariados is obviously in the game. Um, because I know Team Skull gets them. I don't know where to catch Spinarak, but we may have to look for it. I think it is on Island 1, though. He's looking for me. It makes me happy to see him search for me. It's proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. 
Should I tell the other? Should I tell him that she's over here, being hard to get? Why do you gotta play hard to get, lady? This man's just trying to find you right now. My girlfriend always disappears. Oh, all right. Well, you guys can just do your thing. If you don't want to be together, or you want to hang out separately, then do that. I'm not. I'm not gonna get involved in this. Uh, Repel ran, ran off. Okay, cool. I think we're done in here. Pretty cool little metal though. Some pretty cool Pokemon, Oracorio and and uh, you know Cutie Fly and stuff. So I think we head down here now. Doesn't. Oh, there's a trainer. I'm a trainer who uses a red card item. I want to be shaken by your strength. I want to face you when you've shown that you can defeat every last trainer on Route 3. Huh. Am I still on Route 3? I didn't take on all the trainers. Oh, there's another patch of grass. Seeing kids like you journeying together with your Pokemon really soothes my soul. Thank you. I'll give you something. A Soothe Bell. Okay, so we can increase the happiness of a Pokemon. A Pokemon will feel even friendlier towards you if you give it that Soothe Bell to hold. Its clear, charming, uh, charming sound is so pleasant. Sweet. Um, and I can't break through this. Unfortunately, but there is some Pokemon here. Let's see what we find real quick. I'll, I'll do like two or three encounters A Mankey, okay running into a wild Mankey Twilight's ready for this looking beautiful Level 10 Mankey Twilight seems a little bit worried about being able to battle well. Why? You're doing so great Twilight. You've been fun phenomenal You've just been phenomenal. Let's just get one more encounter to see I don't think there's any bug types up here, but might as well. A Spearow. Yeah, all these flying types. So what trainers did I miss on Route 3? I can't even think of any trainers I might have missed on Route 3. Unless unless Route 3 is not over and I have to go through the bridge. <laughs> Twilight is thinking about Poke Beans. Well, I can give you some Poke Beans if you really want them. Uh, let's open up our refresh again. Pokemon refresh. Let's see how you're doing. What do you, what's the question mark for? You seem pretty happy. I'll give you some beans though. Here you go, little guy. Have some beans, man. Eat those beans with those green eyes. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'll give you another bean. You want another one? Have the red bean. Om nom nom. All right, seems pretty happy. I'll give you a nice little head rub here. A little head rub, maybe you'll feel, feel pretty good after that. Let's see if I can get you to three hearts. Oh, there we go. He's happy. How's the, how's the other guys doing? I'm not gonna do too much here. We've got two hearts, two hearts, one heart, and two hearts, so they, they seem to be doing okay. Um, let's get, let's get Cutie Fly a little bit of love here. I'll feed Cutie Fly. Just make him happy. He's happy that he got sent out. He's just happy to be here. She's happy. I, I always mess up the genders. Here you go, little guy. Use your proboscis to eat these little things. I'll give you another one, though. You seem pretty hungry. Here you go. I wonder if the color makes any difference. I don't know. Maybe I should be feeding them color based on what color they, they are. It seems like it might be something Pokemon would do. Let's give you a nice little head rub here. An aggressive head rub. Well, you seem to like that. All right. Well, that's enough of this for now. What trainers am I missing on Route 3? I want to get this red card. That'd be cool. Not that I'm going to use it, really, but it'd be nice to have it. Let's see if Route 3 continues across this bridge or... If that's the end of Route 3. Oh, there's a trainer over here. Well, I guess I'm battling you, buddy. I'll draw the power of my partner, Growlithe, by giving him an item to hold. All right, well, I really don't like fire types either. You know, there's three three types primarily that I don't like. Rock types, fire types, and flying types. Ugh, let's go to Growlithe, okay? Those are, those are the big ones. Flying, fire, and rock. The struggle. But it's all good. He's level 13, so we're definitely higher level. I'm gonna use my awesome cheap strategies here. Hit him with a nice fierce sleep powder. You could just sleep all day, little Growlithe. Good night. Rockabye baby right there, man. Let's uh, a couple gusts, I think, would probably be good. We got that sharp beak, we got stab on gust. It's gonna look pretty good. I think this will maybe two of them, two or three hits. Um looks like it's gonna be three. Well, he's probably gonna be sleeping for another turn or two, so I think we're okay here. And honestly, like, at this point, we're three levels above, and it's a Growlithe. It's not like he's gonna go for, you know, Flare Blitz and knock me out one hit, so it's not really too big of a deal. But I wanna take on all these trainers here, and I do wanna get that red card. I do wanna get that red card, but let's, let's beat this thing first. I'm assuming that's what this guy's gonna give us, a red card afterwards, but... Get a nice little boost, and Joshua goes down. So you didn't even use your item, dude. What was your item? What item did you even use? 
The item... Oh, well, I know that. Iki Town. So this takes us right back to Iki Town, it seems. Was that the final trainer? Let me go back and talk to this guy. Maybe that was the final trainer in Iki, uh, on the Route 3. I don't know. I thought I took on all the other ones. So you've defeated all the trainers. You have shaken me from my calm repose. My heart was a still water, but no longer. Shall we start? Let's have a soul-shaking battle. That is a good reply. I will stand before you as a red card user. So I think what red card does is if you make contact with the Pokemon, it switches you out. I don't know what that is, but Ace Trainer Makana. This guy looks like he might be kind of tough. He's got a Rock Ruff. Okay, so things are already tough because he has a Rock Ruff. And Rock Ruff, if it uses a Rock Sight move, that is not going to bode well for my lovely little... Uh, my lovely little Twilight here. So I'm going to just go for my strats here. We're going to fire off a Sleep Powder. Put this thing to sleep. There's the... He's got Vital Spirit. He's going for Bite. Oh, my goodness. I did not expect that. Got a little thrown off my game here a little bit already. I'm going to go for the... Oh, man. I'm going to go for the Poison Powder. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. Oh, man. I hope he doesn't have Rock Throw or anything yet. Let's go for Poison Powder. Let's weaken this thing slowly but surely. Now I don't even want to switch into my bugs, my other bug types because the, they're going to take so much damage from Stealth Rocks. It's a good thing we have uh, Butterfree out here. Butterfree is our strongest. I'm going to go for the Confusion. He's going to full heal. Oh my goodness. This Rock Ruff is intense. What did he go for? Okay, so there's the red card and he is going to get the red card with the uh, Stealth Rocks damage on Aster, which is going to take 20... 50% actually, I'm sorry, 50% on entry. I'm gonna have to use a potion here. What am I at? I'm at 21 out of 41, so this will actually automatically heal me up to full. If he goes for a rock type move though, he may be able to take a life from Master, which is not good. Stealth rocks, man. He's gonna go for bite. That might be his best attacking move against me, is bite. I'm gonna go for the reflect. Let's go for the reflect. He's gonna overbite again. Hopefully he doesn't flinch me. And I get the reflect up, perfect. Okay, so at least we got that going for us. Now, the problem is I can't really do too much to him. I do have the Mach Punch, though, so I will be using that. But I'm going to use a Potion here just to be safe. We've got the Reflect up. We've got four turns of Reflect to take on this Rock Ruff. And we are level 16, so we are a bit higher than him. He's going to go for Bite again, but... So we have three turns left to Reflect. I'm going to go for the Mach Punch, which will keep him from uh, flinching me, too. It doesn't do a lot, but it does enough. And I got... Three turn, two turns left to reflect. So hopefully he doesn't use any potions. There's a mock punch again, and we we knock him out with a crit. So that was good. That's so scary. If he had a rock type move, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Aster's gonna go to 17. Very nice. Good special defense boost there. Twilight gets some experience. No one else really levels up. And here comes a slow poke. So a lot less concerned about a slow poke. A lot less concerned about a slow poke. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the swift. I uh, I should do a decent amount. Oh, that kid, that did nothing. Oh, he's got leftovers? No, he's got the red card. Okay, obviously. Into what? Into honey. Which is going to take 25% instead of 50. Which is probably good. Here comes the water gun. What is that going to do? I don't want to go switching around here against this thing because... Okay, my reflect wore off. I'm going to go for the struggle bug because it's going to lower his special attack. And make it a little bit easier for me to beat this slow poke. And it does a good amount, too. That's going to lower his special attack. He's going to go for water gun, but I know I could take it. Because of that special attack drop. Honey's living living pretty good here. We're going to be safe, though. We are going to use a potion. Let me just heal up really quickly. And I should be able to beat this Slowpoke. Shouldn't have too many issues. He's going to go for Confusion. But his special attack is lowered. So as long as I don't get confused here, we're going to be in good shape. And I think a few Struggle Bugs should be enough to knock out this thing. I was just worried he was going to use Curse. The wild one I found a couple episodes ago started using Curse against me. And it was a little bit tougher. But this one doesn't seem to be using Curse. It seems to be more specially oriented, which is fine by me. I think this will do it, though. One more, maybe two more. Ah, oh, looks like we got it. Sweet. So Slowpoke goes down, and I think we beat the red card guy. Aster gained some experience. To think that you wounded my pride, which is harder than diamonds. Thousand bucks, and I think he's going to give me a red card. Do it. I know you want to. Red card. It was a fine battle. My heart feels as light and clear as the blue sky that appears after a storm passes through. This is proof of the battle between your team and my own. A red card. Take it, my strong friend. There it is, man. So we got the red card, which switches out Pokemon in battle. Very nice. The effects of red card are as I illustrated. You'll find, uh, you'll likely find other trainers like me on the routes of Alola searching for strength. Challenging them together with your Pokemon would not be a bad reason to take a journey. 
pretty sweet stuff there. So I think it's a great spot for us to end up here. It looks like we have our island challenge against the Kahuna Hala coming up very, very soon. This episode was intense, so we took on how we got the red card. We're heading back down to Route 1 and Iki Town, and we're going to make some things happen on the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And also, don't forget our question of the day, always in the description. What are your thoughts on Z-Crystals in Pokemon Sun and Moon instead of Mega Evolution? We got to use our first Z-Move on this episode, so not too shabby there. But that's going to be that for me, guys. My name is Dan Oscar by A-Drive, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.